Okay, I want to talk about something that um, it's critical to me, but I don't know how many people are impacted by this. So basically, on my setup, I connect my computer to a normal home theater receiver. So I have HDMI going from the graphics card to the receiver, and then that's how I get 7-1 sound and, and all that bullshit. Now, there's a problem with NVIDIA's shitty drivers, and basically what happens is a lot of home theater receivers, devices, they have a power saving mode. And what happens is it thinks, oh, you're not using this thing for audio, so I'll just uh, go to sleep so I don't have to waste electricity. But here's the problem, though. Um, when you're using your computer, if you just like aren't playing any sounds or aren't using your audio device, the fucking piece of shit can go into power saving mode. And then if you have the thing set to like 7-1 audio, it can revert back to stereo. And then you have to go in and change it again. It's the most irritating fucking thing. And, and of course, this is something else where um, you can't find any information on the entire planet other than my shitty little YouTube videos that tell you how to do it. So this is how you can actually fix that. So, um, basically, if you go into, like, your, uh, you know, your audio settings, um, I'm going into speaker setup, and then I'm going to advanced setup in, in my NVIDIA crap. And then, see, when I look at the audio device here, this Denon thing, this is my, um, my, you know, my receiver. If I go into properties on that, um, and then I go into, you know, properties here, um, if I go into details... Um, and then in the property drop down here, I can do class GUID. This will tell me the ID of this device in Windows. I can copy this thing out. So now, if you um, you know put that thing into uh, you know that 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 class GUID into this line as you in your registry. This is basically the, the registry setting that you're going to want to do to adjust these settings. So, so, so if you do that and then you go into regedit and you put in that path, the thing that I just have here, into the, the top search bar in your registry, um, you'll see these registry keys. It's conservation idle time, idle power state, and performance idle time. All three of these fucking assholes, oh god, I hate these shitty registry settings. All three of them should just basically be all zeros, like this. If you do that, it disables the power saving mode. Your sound will never drop from 7.1 to stereo sound ever again, and you can actually use your hardware as a normal human being would assume that uh, uh, you, know, you, you would use it. So fucking irritating. I can't believe that you have to do this bullshit to just have a computer work like you would expect it to, but, but that is the penalty, I guess, of using a home theater uh, receiver for your audio um, on your computer. But it is nice, though. I mean, I, I really do like just the simplicity. Otherwise, of just being able to say, all right, HDMI to home theater receiver. I got other shit, home theater receiver. You know, it's it's all done that way, and I don't have kind of like these shitty Mickey Mouse uh, surround computer uh, sound setups. So so if you ever run into that, th that the takeaway is um, if you find that you know you're using HDMI for audio on your computer and you're losing surround sound, it's dropping back to stereo. Chances are it's this bullshit power saving mode. Fuck power saving. I, I, swear, I mean, really, that's like the first thing I do whenever I use a computer. All power saving options off. No, no. You're not going to conserve power. You're going to perform at optimal speed always or else.